Hello everyone, welcome back to BK Engineering. Today we are going to see evaluating scenarios of your design. So we are basically doing a design study here by evaluating scenarios of our design that we have here. So we'll basically do a model dimension, defining a model dimension and uh, defining multiple scenarios based on the model uh, and uh, run a design study. So design study is usually done after the simulation in the SOLIDWORKS so uh, the in further terms now it is called as generative design so that's how we'll just uh, study the design by giving uh, certain parameters and change our uh, design as we need so I'll just open this uh, assembly just clicking here so we have uh, We have this part here and uh, let me just uh, go through the points that we are going through running the initial simulation yes uh, we have an option called ready here so let's just see the steps here in the ready tab here so while simulating we'll uh, restrain the fixture we'll just hold the, we'll give the restraining uh, commands for the any body so this is the fixture that we are uh, that uh, given for this part here and the loads will be given so loads have been given for this uh, part here and uh, will also give the, the what type of analysis is being done so these are all the things that there uh, in this uh, ready tab here and uh, we are do as you can see the symbol of uh, a frequency analysis has been doing on this uh, part so we'll just uh, see what are all the things we'll just run directly because all the parameters has been given so we'll run this uh, design study first. So we have got the uh, frequency and analysis of the part uh, of uh, by default uh, ready tab uh, on the all the parameters that they that they have in the that specified for this model here. As we know in the frequency analysis. Uh, uh, we'll be having a mode shapes of uh, different kinds so I'll just change it to mode shape 2 mode shapes are uh, basically when a part is uh, the frequency analysis mode shape uh, includes into the frequency analysis or model analysis so basically when a part is uh, uh, vibrated by the natural frequencies around it it changes its shapes that means that it changes its shapes based upon the loads that it apply on it so I've changed it to mode shape 2 let me just see how it behaves so this is how uh, we can change the mode shapes and see the results as well so we'll do the next step so we'll define angle uh, parameter for that we need to create a new design uh, study we'll just uh, right click on scenarios and create a new design study so we'll be having a we'll add a uh, variable of uh, angle here and uh, before adding an angle uh, parameter here we need to check uh, certain things like uh, we, uh, we should add a parameter uh, add angle is been uh, by default there but usually we'll enter manually and then see the uh, uh, select the category and uh, values as well so before doing that we need to add and uh, make sure that uh, d2 uh, this uh, circular pattern should be there in this model dimension dialog box here so that will be uh, that will get from uh, from the model here once we click on add parameters we can get it from the so this is the uh, pattern that i am talking to by just clicking on this we will be getting this uh, uh, D2 iterate circular pattern in this model dimension dialog box so that we can uh, click and click OK and save that. So we'll define the scenarios now, different scenarios, and uh, verify the re view the results as well. So I'll add a parameter of angle. 
and we need to also make sure that uh, design steady options uh, we, we should uh, check on high quality slower and we need to switch from uh, variable view to uh, table view um, make sure uh, angle is been there in the variables uh, uh, box here we need to enter the values different scenarios will be given so i'll just give the scenarios that uh, we have here in this tutorial uh, we should have a uh, five tutorials five sorry five scenarios so let's just change the degrees So we have given the scenarios uh, with the different angles uh, because we are taking an angle uh, parameter here. So in the constraints, uh, we will take a, a sensors, frequency sensors. Uh, the simulation has been done on the frequency. So we will be having sensors here with the different frequencies. The uh, sensors uh, will be placed on this part at a different uh, location so that uh, so the results will get uh, will be exact. So I am going to as we are uh, studying the design we need to give the constraints as well uh, i'll give the constraints as a uh, frequency one we are not changing uh, we are not uh, customizing or optimi optimizing uh, the frequencies so i'll just uh, keep it as a monitor only so we will just monitor how the frequencies are uh, performing on this part so in the same way we need to enter all the five frequencies that we have here So we have uh, we are done with the constraint uh, constraints with uh, from frequencies one to five as we are doing only monitor only we will be entering monitor only in the options and uh, let's just uh, run this uh, design study we need to uncheck the optimization because not uh, because we are not optimize optimizing this uh, design here for that uh, if we want to optimize we need to uh, give some goals here in the tab that we have here so as we are not doing that let, let me just uh, run this design study and uh, the scenarios that we have created let's see what are all the results that we'll get so here it is uh, as you can see the the frequencies uh, will be changed in the results here in the results view tab here let me, let me just drag this bar up so that we will have a proper view of it as you can see all the eigenvalues uh, with an eigenvalues are uh, uh, visible here for all the scenarios of scenario 1 that we have given 180 degrees 120 degrees 90 degrees and 720 so that's how we'll get uh, results and angles and uh, I do I want to see only the results uh, of uh, a particular scenario for that we can do we, we just need to select the column I will select in the column scenario 5 and uh, frequency double click on frequency 3 so we will get uh, uh, will get how we will get the results of that uh, particular scenario and how the how the part will be deformed under uh, frequency 3 uh, that uh, given by the sensors here up in the tree so let's just uh, plot design uh, history graph for the results that we have so for that we need to select the defined design history graph and uh, in the y under y axis i will take as a design variables by default and then click ok we will be getting a graph so this is how you view the results of uh, different frequencies and uh, different parts of the uh, different parts with the different scenarios and uh, let us see uh, results of uh 
of constraints constraints for that we need to enter into divine uh, define design history graph uh, so i'll click the constraints and uh, i'll select all the frequencies that we have so for that i need to gra uh, get graph for uh, all the frequencies here so i'm selecting all the graph all the frequencies that we have by just clicking ok i'll get a graph for all the frequencies between frequency and scenarios so set 1 set 2 set 3 uh, indicates the scenarios that we have given and uh, frequencies are uh, here based upon the frequencies and the sensor points that we have given for this part so let's uh, so we can just uh, make a small uh, animate mode shapes of this uh, frequency analysis design study for that uh, we need to we need to select scenario find switch to uh, ready study that we have uh, ready study tab and uh, click on uh, double click on amplitude and right click on it to animate it so that we will uh, we'll be knowing uh, final uh, result of it by uh, how does actually scenario scenario that we have given number 5 how it actually deforms under scenario 5 with the amplitude results that we have got so this is how you design study uh, here in the solidworks software thank you let's meet in the next video if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering please click the link in the description